A key part of building a better Bay Area is taking care of your health in all its forms. Time and time again, cancer drugs are among the most expensive for patients. But when they die, their loved ones are often left with unused medicine that can't be donated to others. ABC 7 News reporter David Louis shows us why California is trying to become the latest state to change that. It's estimated $3 billion worth of cancer drugs like this are wasted each year. Although sealed and unopened, this box with 21 pills with a value of over $13,000 without insurance has to be disposed. It is a bitter thing to have sitting around staring at it. Kasasha lost his wife Maggie three weeks ago to breast cancer. The cancer drug arrived while she was in the intensive care unit she never left. He tried to find a way to offer it to another patient through a doctor or other means, but discovered that's not allowed. I certainly think that the situation is inhumane. Kasasha, who is a former ABC7 executive producer, has an ally in state senator Susan Rubio. The San Gabriel Valley lawmaker has authored SB310 that would launch a pilot program to allow unused cancer drugs to be recycled. We've narrowed it down to only 50 participants physicians and doctors. So hopefully once we see the data, we see that it works, there won't be a problem just expanding it to go statewide. The bill passed by unanimous vote in the state Senate Tuesday and goes now to the assembly. Cancer patients pay thousands of dollars out of pocket for drugs, even with insurance coverage. The copay can be high and you know, so it, it can it can delay their starting of their treatment while they pull together their money. And so it's it, there is a need there. The pilot program will be too late to provide this drug to someone in need, but it would give a lifeline to others in the future. If we can save one life, that's great, but I really want to save thousands of lives. So hopefully we can all do it together. David Louie, ABC 7 News.